I'm sorry, it's just... My wedding ring, it's gone. I'm always so clumsy. I lost it when we got back. It's not worth much, but it's all I have left of him. My dear Sebastian. Help Seth locate any part he might need, okay? Try not to sleep. No telling if I'll ever wake up. Let me ask you something. He will not understand. Where do you go when you lose consciousness? Why even bother? What? <laughs> surprise, surprise. You have a brain. The brain is a biological computational device running an electrochemical process. Your consciousness is an emergent property of said process. Blank face like that of a baby. In other words, you are your electrochemical process. Fundamentally, you have the experience of a continuous existence. You are you at this point in time, the same you as you were in the past. And you have a sensation of riding along this continuum of being you into the future. Do you follow me? Doesn't look like it. Continuing. On occasion, the brain may be subjected to trauma, temporarily discontinuing the electrochemical process such as a boxer being knocked out. As this occurs, the brain is no longer running its electrochemical consciousness generating process. Hence, consciousness is lost. You lose consciousness. Pay attention now. At this point in time, your consciousness, all that is you, your continuum of being you, has ceased to exist in the physical world. Now, moments later, the electrochemical process may start up again, allowing consciousness to emerge out of the information stored in the brain. But I wonder, where are you in the meantime? No, it's too stupid. Must we not assume that at the point when consciousness is lost, the person dies? If a new consciousness appears or not in the same brain is entirely inconsequential to the dead consciousness. The new consciousness is simply a new person. Because it emerges from the same brain, it has access to all the memories and cognitive structures as a dead consciousness, so it thinks it is the same person, but in actuality, it is just an imposter, inheriting the body and brain from the previous, now dead inhabitant. Yes, like talking to a child. <gasps> What about the soul? Oh, soul. I knew he was stupid. There's no such thing as a soul. We are machines of biology, nothing more, nothing less. Idiot! The soul, simply a pointless concept dreamt up by priests and fairy tale men. You're an anomaly, you. An outlier, useless. A laughing anus is what you are. <laughs> What to make of you, I do not know. Are you here to help me? You seem beyond help. What are you working on? Gathering data. Nazi activity. Behavioral patterns. Ours. Theirs. Doing the math. Developing predictions. Where are they allocating resources? Where will they strike next? And after that, what are the larger trends triggering their actions? Figure out what choices they will make before they make them. You talk as if the future is inevitable, as if all our choices have already been made. <laughs> You think there is such a thing as free will? <laughs> you know so little of the world. You want to be the captain of your fate, do you? This fight, you will lose. You cannot go to war against physics. My actions are my own. I know that much. All phenomena in the physical world follow the simple rule of cause and effect. Your brain is no exception to the rule. Know the causes, you can predict the effects. The same is true for everything. Uh -huh. So what's with the arsenal? 
preparing for the end. I know where my road leads, and I intend to take as many Nazis with me as I can muster. Do you have any experience with firearms? Will you teach me? If we're going to steal a Nazi U-boat, I need set to repair that thing on the table. Help him with his work, will you? tinkering with them helicopters. Looking for the welder. You seen it? No, I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. No, you're right. You're right. I was meaning to sort out the railing over by the secret fountain entrance. The fucking thing fell out of my hand into the water. I'm a bit busy at the moment, but you want the welder, you go right on ahead and start swimming. The door to the secret fountain entrance is in the main room behind the table. Go over there and you should find the weld. Somewhere down in the water somewhere. Sorry, pal. Don't mean to, you know, derail your train of thought, but uh, I need to get through that door. Ugh, please. What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? They would think that when Jay seen what I have, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changing. No matter who you are or what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind. Make it through to the other side. And kill all the Nazis? <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. I will drink with you in celebration, Veneer, that time comes. You're on. <laughs>
in letzter Nacht aufgewacht. Und wie man dann die Haustür gestoppt hat, die Fenster geschaut und gesehen, wie ein paar schwarz gekleidete Männer mit den Nachbarn redeten. See Welder. Next time you go get it, Fergus. If we're going to steal a Nazi U-boat, I need set to repair that thing on the table. Help him with his work, will you? Oh, Shimshon, that's all I need. Or actually, would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She will need the frequency of the transponder to track the thing. Like I'm the goddamn errand boy. William. Do you have a moment? Hast du Platzgewitz gesehen? Schon wieder mit dieser Unsinn! 
Mein Gott, was ist nur los mit diesen Leuten? I want this. With you. Like this. Always. It will happen, William. Believe it. Finish up your dirty laundry. We're leaving. But not today. Listen to my voice, Blaskovich. There you are now, inside sewage tunnels. The intestinal tracks of the city. And deeper below, the Berlin catacombs. A vast complex. The most secure site in all Berlin. The central munition stockpile of the Nazi regime. The things we could do with those weapons. Riot. We revolt. This access route is waterlocked. Impenetrable to outsiders. There's only one way to breach across the perimeter. It's a tunnel glider. The Nazis use them for maintenance down there. We've been trying for years to bring it up to working order. This is the first phase of the plan to gain access to sets underwater safe keep. Use the tunnel glider to find a way into the weapons depot in the burning catacombs. Anya has agreed to track your position over the transponder and provide tactical support. Good luck there, Blaskovich. These are deep waters. William, can you hear me? You have to make your way all the way through the sewer tunnels and into the Berlin catacombs. I'll try to guide you through. 